Hello, my friends. Um, this is my um, friend, Lucky Lily. Um, she is going to be reading with us today. Uh, she's just super excited to be here. She just came out of hibernation. All right, chapter three. At the top of the stairs, the gang found themselves in the great hall. It was the largest room they had ever seen in a house of any size. Everything about it was big. The walls seemed 50 feet high and were made of huge blocks of stone. An assortment of old shields, swords, and other medieval tools covered one wall. A row of 10 suits of armor, each seven feet high, lined another wall. Above, they noticed three giant candelabras glowing with the light of a hundred candles. Jinkies, who's that? Velma asked. She pointed at a huge painting of a man. He looked very stern. What's Ward Montgomery, my great-grandfather? That's Ward Montgomery, my great-grandfather, Cliff said. Amazing, Daphne said. Wow, Fred added. So, like, do we? when do we eat, asked Shaggy. Chives walked up behind Shaggy. Right this way, sir, he said. Shaggy jumped. Like, don't sneak up on us like that, man, Shaggy said. You almost scared poor Scooby to death. You okay, Scoob? Scoob? Shaggy looked around and Scooby wasn't there. Scooby was already following the aroma of roast beef. Your dog would make a fine bloodhound, Cliff said. He's already found his way to the dining room, shall we? Cliff meant, motioned for everyone to follow Scooby-Doo. The dining room was brightly lit with seven, several electric can chandeliers. There were already a few people sitting around the long table, but Shaggy and Scooby-Doo didn't notice the people. They were looking at all the food. Now this is what I call a dinner table, Shaggy said in awe. Down the center of each long table was a row of silver platters. Each platter was piled high with food. Do you see what I see, Scoob? Shaggy asked. Ruba, Scooby replied. The two of them walked over um, to the table. Never before had they seen so much food. There was roast beef, chicken, fish, vegetables of all kinds, long breads, skinny breads, brown breads, and platters with mounds of spaghetti. Please, please, have a seat anywhere, Cliff said. He waved his hand and pointed to some empty chairs. The gang sat down around the table. I have some very exciting news to share, Cliff said from the head of the table. But before I start, let's take a moment and introduce ourselves. It's so much nicer eating with friends than strangers. Really, Cliff, is this another one of your silly games? Asked the woman sitting next to him. Fred shrugged and said, I guess I'll start. I'm Fred, and this is Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. Our van was flat has a flat just outside of the castle. We only came in to use the phone. And I forced them to join us for dinner. The more the merrier. I always say, Barbara, your turn. I'm Barbara Redding, said the woman sitting next to Cliff. You probably already know that I'm the mayor of this town. And I've been trying to convince Cliff to donate to the castle, to donate the castle to the town as a museum. The old man next to Velma leaned forward in his chair and coughed. Sunny DePesto, DePesto. Real estate, shopping malls, parking garages. I've been after this place for years. For a medieval themed amusement park, I want to call it Nightland. The woman with red hair across from him shook her head disapprovingly. I'm Sally McLear, McLeary McIntyre from Scotland's Royal Museum. We've been trying to get this castle returned to Scotland where it belongs. Cliff stood beside his chair at the head of the table. Now, some of you may not know the rich history of the Montgomery family. How my great-great-grandfather, Ward Montgomery, bought this castle over Scotland stone by stone. The Montgomery family has lived here for years. And as you know, I have no family of my own. Therefore, as of midnight tonight, I am turning the castle over to people of our town for the use of the museum and park. Mayor Redding jumped out of her chair. How wonderful, she exclaimed. Sonny DePesto reached for his water glass. We'll see how long the museum lasts in this town, he muttered under his breath. Ah, tis sad. Sad day for folks in Scotland. Folks back in Scotland, Sally said to Daphne. A toast to Clifton Montgomery, Mayor Redding said. Everyone raised their glass. I love a good toast, Shaggy said, especially with butter and jam. Right, Riz. Scooby took a huge bite of bread and smiled. Hip, hip, hooray, everyone cheered. Hip, hip, hooray. And suddenly the lights went out. Goodbye. That was chapter three.